Hello and welcome to this brief overview of Miro. This video will give you an introduction to Miro and the key features that we'll be using during our training and workshop sessions. Miro is an immersive tool for online collaboration. It's basically like a virtual whiteboard that's infinite. It can be helpful to think of it as a huge exhibition space with multiple halls, each with different ex exhibition stands and meeting areas. So we can zoom in and out and see the different spaces and then work together within these spaces by adding and removing text, sticky notes and much, much more. So let's take a look. One of Miro's basic features is the ability to present and share information with the group as you might with PowerPoint or Keynote. Here we can take you through a series of pieces of information and talk you through them. But where Miro really comes to life is where it allows groups to share their thoughts and develop and organise their ideas to create greater understanding. Everyone is able to create and contribute ideas to a Miro board. People capture their thoughts on sticky notes and share them to a space on the board. These can then be organised into groups and themes in a blank space, or even into predefined models or templates like this sales funnel. Miro also has a voting function so everyone can have their say and the facilitator can determine the popularity of different ideas or concepts. If you use a computer regularly, you'll hopefully find Miro intuitive and easy to use. But to help you get started, we will now show you some of the basic features we'll be using in our sessions. First to sign in. You will have received an email inviting you to the training and this will include a link to Miro. If you follow this link, you will be taken to a Miro board and at the top in the centre will be a blue button saying sign up for free. Click and complete the registration form. It's only name, email and password, but having this information means we'll all be able to see one another's names during the session. Once on the board, we suggest you set the navigation mode first. Open the settings menu, top right, click navigation mode and select either mouse or trackpad. During the sessions, the facilitator will be your guide and will lead you through different content and workspaces. But if you get out of sync, there are a number of tools to help you orientate yourself. In the bottom right of the screen, there is a map to show you all the content on the board and where you are. You can change your location and then can zoom in and out. You can also do this scrolling on the mouse when pinching and expanding on a trackpad. Another useful tool is the people menu. Using it, you can follow another person by clicking on their icon at the top. So if the trainer is talking about some content that you can't see, just click on their icon and you will be able to see exactly what they're looking at. Finally, there's a chat feature. If you're having any trouble, just post a message here and the facilitator will come to your assistance. The three things we want you to be able to do to ensure you get the most out of the sessions are creating sticky notes, moving items around and voting on content. So let's start with sticky notes. If you head over to the left hand navigation and then click on the icon, you'll see loads of colours to choose from. Click once to choose a colour, then click anywhere on the board and your sticky note will appear. If you start typing right away, you can write on it. If you click away from the note or you want to go back and edit it, just double click on it. Next, moving items around. To move something, say one of your post-its, just click and hold to drag it around. Then release it to drop it back on the board. You can also move other people's items and it works with words, pictures and shapes too. Finally, voting. When the facilitator wants you to vote, a panel will appear on the left. On the board, you will see a group of items that you can choose from. Each will have a cross on it, and you will see in the panel how many votes you can make and how much time you have to do it. When you have made your selections, the poll is counted up and you'll get the results. Simple. And that's it. You now know how to create sticky notes, move items around, and how to vote. We've created a set of practice boards for you to give it a try. So do have a play with Miro before the sessions if you can. It could be fun. See you all soon. Thanks.